Welcome everyone to Catherine's Plates where today is all about one pot smoked sausage and creamy pesto pasta. So delicious. It's really fast and easy to put together. If you're ready, we're going to need a large pot. We're going to put this over a medium high heat. I'm going to add one tablespoon of cooking oil. Now a lot of you ask me what's in here. This is an avocado oil and we really like it. It's a nice clean oil and it tastes really good. It's healthy for you also. And to that I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. We're going to start getting this nice and hot and that way we can add our onions. And I'm using one onion and I just went ahead and diced this for us. What we want to do is soften down the onions and get them a nice little color to them. Now while that's happening, I'm taking some smoked sausage here and it's a um, 14 ounce package and I'm just slicing these to about a quarter of an inch. We're going to add these to the onions. We want to give these some flavor, some color, so we're going to brown these up. It's going to be really delicious. I'm going to go ahead and place this into my onions. Tell me what, I love the smell of onions. I'm just going to cut these up. Now you can use any flavor of sausage that you want. We like the smoked sausage. There's also a chicken sausage that's really good and kielbasa, one of our favorites too. I'm going to cook these down for just a few minutes on each side for about a couple of minutes. We want to give them a nice little char. Okay, that is looking really good. Yum. All right, let's take some minced garlic. Add about two teaspoons. We're going to put some black pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm not going to put any salt in this yet. So I'm going to cook this down for just one minute. We do want to cook that garlic. Let's go ahead now and add three cups of chicken broth. put the heat onto a high setting, bring this to a boil, and I'm going to bring you back. It's to a boil. What we're going to do is add in 12 ounces of uncooked pasta. Now I'm just using some egg noodles here. They're no yolks. All going in. So they're dull. There's no yolks. <laughs> Y'all know who's in the kitchen. <laughs> Telling his jokes. Hey, they're good. <laughs> Them people laugh and they know. Alright, so I'm just stirring this up. Now, not all of the noodles are going to be fully submerged into the liquid, and that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead now and place a lid on. We're going to cook this for about 10 minutes. I'm going to lift the lid every few minutes and give it a stir and make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom of the pan and that the pasta is getting nice and tender. All right, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, it's looking really good. Now I did turn down the heat at the beginning to a 350, which is a medium high heat to a medium heat. And along the way, I was stirring, put the lid back on, wait a few minutes, stir again, and I wound up adding another half a cup of broth to my noodles here. So keep an eye on your liquid level. If you feel like you need to add more, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, let's add some good stuff. Okay, half a cup 
of Parmesan cheese, shredded, grated, however you have it. Oh yeah. Add that. One cup of your favorite basil pesto. Mm. Now this pesto I got from our Costco. And you just keep it in the refrigerator. And it's amazing. It smells delicious. It tastes so good. So we're going to add that. Mm. All in one pot. And then we're going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. So give it a little shake here. Give it some creaminess to go with that cheese. We're going to stir this all up. Mmm, it smells so good. Smoked sausage, creamy pesto pasta. They're going to want to come to the table for this. <laughs> So you want to just finish cooking this down for one minute or so until your pasta is the tenderness that you desire. Everything is nice and creamy and well combined. All right, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, that smells good. Yeah, I got a big pot of broccoli on the back burner cooking. It's got chicken broth, garlic, salt, pepper, and some butter. And it's cooking back there on that. Yeah. We're gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna let it sit here for just a few minutes to gather itself, pull all the flavors together. Look at this pasta, so delicious. And that sausage, I'm telling you, Cook that sausage first, give it a nice browning with the onions. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's my bite. I'm going in. Mm. It's very delicious. Cheesy, the pesto, mm. all those flavors. And I told y'all I had broccoli on the back burner back there. All right. So we do have that to go with our one pot meal right here. It all came together really fast. Give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below. Hey y'all, I will also put a playlist down below of all my other one pot meals if you want to go check those out. All right. I'm on Facebook. And don't forget that this recipe can also be found on my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. I will see you on the next episode. Mm.